Okay, so here's some more books about learning the Word of God. Um, I'm not gonna like promote any of these and say that um, de definitely Beth Moore. I'm not really sure what exactly to think about her, so I'm not gonna promote her book. But I am going to say you can pull some things out of there if you be careful. Some people would say she's a false teacher. I haven't really paid attention much to her as far as what exactly she's saying that's false. Um, captivating, this is a good way to cultivate a woman's femininity. Something God has given us rather than just being a feminist and being masculine. We do want to cultivate that. We also want to cultivate um, God's word in how we manage our homes. Elizabeth George is really popular. I think she's solid. So that's another great book. Um, but trying to stay in the word and I don't really, I'm not somebody who's big on Jen Wilkin. I am not, I do not really, I'm really not impressed with her, but this was a Bible study that I had done and this book was used and I just tried to take what I could from it. Um, these books are cute. It actually goes through the scripture, which I like to study the scripture because you can have so many people's books of interpretation, but you really want to study the word. You want to get into the Greek and the Hebrew. So the book of Mark, the gospel of Mark gives you some room to write your thoughts. And I like that because I learn as I write too. Okay. So, um, You know, I, the more I read, the more I see I have so much to learn. I really don't have my Bible down. And I don't know that I will ever have it completely down because, I mean, you're always learning. The Bible is a book that, first of all, it's the Word of God. Um, and it's something that you're always learning about. Okay, I like to study about Jesus quite a bit. I try to pay attention to the words in red um, a lot. Okay, so that's more Bible books. 